Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how to smash that incredibly annoying 5000 XP board that is just dangling off the pylon. Now the car I used was the Hoonigan Ford RS200. The tune for that or the share code tune is on your screen now. The reason I use this car is because it's just a pretty good all rounder for a lot of things but there is a wide array of cars you can of course use. Now as you can see that's where the XP board is located so I started just off the sort of um, solar panel grid and what I did is I followed the shadows of the power lines that run ahead to the actual pylon. Now what I recommend doing although I'll show you a couple of fails first because I didn't get it first time would you believe um, is I just before hitting that little hill that jump is I just spurred off to the right a teeny bit. Now you want to be hitting the jump at around 140 mile an hour in order to get it. And like I said, if you follow the shadow of those power lines, you're going to definitely be on target. Now chances are you probably won't smash it first time. If you do, then I take my hat off to you because this is definitely the trickiest XP board. Probably one of the trickiest in the history of Horizon. But one of the things that I found did help was the rewind feature. So this is a run where I actually got it. Now first of all, I didn't smash it, but I was pretty close. But when I rewound it, it rewound to the point just before my wheels left the ground. So I was able to just about come off the accelerator and turn a little bit more to the right in order to smash it. Albeit it's not the most elegant way to smash it. I ended up on the roof at the end and you know, it still took a little while, but that is the best place to hit the jump from in order to smash it. You can do it running from the other direction, but you need to be going a lot faster. So it will take a lot longer because it's a bigger jump. So you're not as likely to smash it first time. But like I said, if you follow those power lines, the shadow of them, so it will be easier to do it in the day. Follow the shadows of those power lines and just spur off as you hit that jump. You should be able to get it. Like I said, if you hit it first time, I take my hat off to you because that was a real bugger of an XP board. But it is definitely doable. You don't have to use the Hoonigan RS200 either. You can use any car you want as long as it's up to the job of hitting that sort of speed and you know not being too low. Otherwise, it probably won't handle the jump too well. Anyway, I hope this video did help you out. If you've got any questions about anything regarding this XP board or any others, just let me know down below in the comments. I'm always happy to help you out. But if it did help, I'd very much appreciate it if you could drop a like and subscribing massively helps me out as well. Anyway, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.